Following closely on the turmoil of the early 2020s, scientists quickly in 2023 made rapid discoveries in the area of trans-Newtonian physics, from everything from faster than light travel to faster than light communications. After years of death and decay at the hands of the plague and political instability, over just a billion people remained on Earth. But thanks to the breakthrough, many of the issues the Earth faced were solved. World hunger, drought, social issues, all were solved during the time of post-scarcity that followed these discoveries. Many businesses decided to switch gears instead of operating on designing goods for cost and profit, became more of an art and a novelty that continued to contribute to societal advancement. Now, only a few years away, the Earth sits by quietly watching as they design and build their first starship since the Great Crash of 2021. People anxiously wait and watch researchers race to design the first starships to explore their local solar system and eventually the galaxy. This new trans-Newtonian tech has created a wealth of opportunity for humans to take if only they can reach out and grab it. Hey guys, Space Marine 658 here, and this is episode zero of our Aurora Let's Play. Uh, this is a conventional start, and it's gonna be more of an RP series, so um, it's not gonna focus too heavily on actual meta gaming and sort of the in-depth features. It's gonna be more of, you know, playing as the Empire, playing it to its uh, RP end, however that ends up being, if it ends up beating the game, conquering the whole galaxy, whatever, um, that'll just happen as it happens. But actually in the description, I'll have a Discord channel set up um, and I'm going to go a bit over that later uh, and what actually will be involved with that. But before that, let's get into the settings of this series. So for this game, I'm playing as the United Earth Technocracy. Um, you can see the settings here. It might be a little hard to see, so I'll read them out loud for anyone that's interested. Um, We've got 250 systems, 50%, pretty standard settings. All these are just default except for the 250 uh, is for the number of systems. 80% difficulty, just because this is more of an RP series, it's more laid back, that's why it's a conventional start. Not too much into playing it as hard or as well as I can, just more of a relaxed game. I've got the NPR settings set to default. Um, in fact, actually I think Pretty much everything in here is going to be default, with those few exceptions. So, let's see. Yeah, okay. And then over here, I have made some changes. Um, the only big changes are that I got rid of the uh, Star Swarm and I have not added the Invaders. I've left the Precursors and the Rakas. I felt like these were a bit too difficult for more of an RP series. Um, maybe in different series, I can have them back in. The NPRs can activate ancient races. I made sure that was there. That way, you know, when we eventually create NPRs by exploring the galaxy, we don't have to worry about the ancient races only being spawned if we find them. They can find them too and have to deal with them. Um, we've got realistic commander promotions. Um, political bonuses turned off because I felt like for this RP series, with it being a technocracy, it makes more sense for them to focus on their abilities, not their political power so that way it's a bit more rp uh experience fleet penalties so we will have to train our fleets and then i think pretty much everything else is default all right so uh with this series um i did a few years just doing some research just early stuff that was gonna just slow down time because we pretty much aren't gonna do anything until we got those researched as you can see i completed the nuclear thermal technology and the improved pressure water reactor Nothing crazy, just to, just you know, three or four years of research to kind of get some of these things moving along. Um, that way, when we get into the RP series, we can focus on more of like the exploratory. What are we going to colonize? What are we going to mine from? Things like that, rather than the early research projects where we're mostly just going to be passing time. So now that we've got that out of the way, let's see, I don't think there's pretty much anything else. I've been working on converting uh, the industry. I just set that up. And then this is the current state of the human empire right now. Nothing too crazy. Just some start out with a billion people instead of the normal uh, 500 million. Because I felt like that was a bit more realistic. 
500 million people, that means a lot of people passed away from disease and did death and stuff, and that was a bit too much for me. Um, so this is our current setup. And we've got some shipyards, and I've been expanding and adding to these a little bit, but not too much, just to kind of get them bigger. All right, so now we'll get into the actual roleplay side of things and how that's going to work. So over here, I've got my Discord channel, and shouldn't be able to see anything too bad. Um, so over here is the you know the different channels. You have your welcome channel, announcement, and character out of character. This is where we'll you know talk about everything. Um, in here, in the Senate and voting. So we're going to have two different things. There's the voting channel. This will be for everyone. Everyone should be able to access the voting channel. Um, yeah. So what you'll be able to do is come in here and be able to, I'll, I'll create a vote. Um, you should be able to access it, but no one should be able to talk in it. I should put slow down on there anyway. Um, just a short little slow down, five minutes. Um, sorry. But everybody will be able to see this channel and everybody will be able to add reactions in this channel. And that is how we'll do voting. So there'll be thumbs up, thumbs down, abstain, and everyone will be able to come in here, vote on what they think is an appropriate uh, candidate for their Senate, because we're gonna split it up in parties. And uh, down here, everybody will post just one post and we'll leave it that way. You can edit it, whoever the original poster is, because um, they'll be the party leader. You'll be able to edit your party description and kind of define it, have a flag and everything. And I'll, I'll create a template for everyone to use. But in here, you'll be able to have all that. And then whoever's the current political party uh, leaders will be able to run uh, against each other and then voting will happen here. And um, the voting, I'll, I'll have to decide exactly how I want it to be, but basically the top five or so will become Senate leaders. And then from there, the Senate leaders um, and the people will all vote on a president and they can be of different parties. Um, that way it makes it a little more, more interesting RP wise, you know, you might end up with a president that opposes the Senate. Um, and there's some rules that'll go into that. So maybe the Senate votes on something, the president can veto it, but the Senate, you know, maybe they can override his veto with a three fourths vote or something like that. That'll come into, with the first Senate council, we'll be able to make those kind of decisions. Um, and then here, these are just sort of general rules, you know, Follow Discord's terms of service, don't be hateful towards each other, um, pretty standard stuff, you know, nothing too crazy. Uh, this is a channel just asking for help. Um, I will be in here a lot too because I am definitely not an expert at Aurora, so don't be afraid to come in here and ask questions. There is no stupid question except the one you didn't ask. Um, then here will be, this will be the propaganda channel. This will be used for candidates who are campaigning, so when voting happens, um, We'll probably decide on a timeline, but my kind of rough estimate right now is that likely every 10 years or so we'll do a new running of both the president and the Senate. It just seems like a very easy way to do it and a lot of other people are doing it like, um, as a lot of people who are watching this might know, Inter Elysium, I'm actually, have done some RP in their channel and that's what kind of inspired this series. So in here you'll be able to come in here and post, you know, propaganda, maybe if you want to make a poster or a video or just a post in general um, talking about your party or maybe things about other parties that you don't like. Um, we'll try to keep it relatively friendly, uh, some friendly in, ch in character banter and um, making fun of each other is fine, but if it gets out of hand, you will be kicked from the channel, uh, or not from the channel, sorry, from the Discord channel. Um, then in here we have the general channel. This is just sort of out of character discussion, but it can also include other stuff you wanna talk about you know, other things you like, video games and stuff. Um, most of the out of character stuff that still evolves Aurora will be in here. And then down here we have a general chat where people can just talk about the game, about other stuff. If they got questions they want to ask that are too long and in depth to ask in Aurora Health, they can ask down here. Um, then an active channel, of course. War Room is going to be for the Senate and the Presidential Chamber and the, uh, the cabinet positions, because there are cabinet positions, so I should go over that as well. Um, can be over here. Uh, and the presidential chamber is just for the president and anyone who wants to meet with him. And then the Senate floor is for the senators to discuss things. So in this, we've got a few different positions. Um, oh, let me see. Does it show? Yes, here we go. 
So in here, um, that's it, everyone. Where's the other walls? Anyways, uh, but we've got a few different positions, such as we've got the defense uh, secretary, we've got the, one second, let me look it up. All right, so we've got the senator. Uh, so this will be a role that uh, five to 10 people, depending on how many we select, will be in here. Uh, then we've got the president, who, singular role, secretary of defense and the secretary of colonization. So whenever election happens, the senators and the president will be selected. And then the president can pick from their party or from other parties, but probably from their own party, the secretary of defense and secretary of colonization. Now what these two roles are for, Secretary of Defense can decide how the military should be run in more broad terms. So they might say we should focus on building capital ships or corvettes or missile frigates, whatever they think is the focus of the military. Maybe ground, ground, ground units is what they want to focus on. And then that doesn't mean we can't build other things, but that means the focus should be on that. And then the Secretary of Colonization will sort of make day-to-day uh, -day decisions over colonization. So. Uh, they will decide, you know, if we've got three or four potential candidates, they might pick which candidates get chosen, or they might pick all of them. Um, now, some of this is going to be sort of left up to me as the game master. I will have to make certain decisions if the roles can be reached, but I will try my best in RP at least to reach out to these roles and fulfill those uh, positions with people that will make decisions. That way we can have some interaction. I think that'd be a lot of fun. Um, yeah. So that's it for that. So those will be sort of roles that we run. Um, as the game goes on, those will change. Different people will take positions. My hope with this is to have a lot of interaction, a lot of uh, slower gameplay um, to get a lot more of the game out. I'll probably uh, post this video to the Aurora Reddit and a few other places. Um, if we don't get too many people joining too quickly, I'll probably just start uploading videos uh, with me at, at the helm essentially until we can get a few people in here. But uh, until then, this has been Space Marine 608. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps out the channel uh, with getting the view count up. Um, if you got any questions, make sure to leave them down below. Thank you.